Hello and welcome to the Easy Solution Systems tutorial videos. I'm Jesse Brown and today we'll be going through the sales sync in the Easy Solution mobile application. The sales syncing application is a new feature added to allow the business owner to track their sales on the go with their Android mobile. This utility has three components. First is salesservicesync.exe, which you'll need to have in your retail man folder or any other software you use from us. This program will run in the background where it uploads the data to an FTP server, which is the second component of this utility. And the third component is the easy solution application, which you can download. If you don't have an FTP server, we can provide you with one and you can also download the Easy Solution app from our website to your mobile. Once we run the sales sync, it will sit in the icon tray. To access this, you'll need to go to the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Once you click the up arrow, you can see that the program is running in the background. So here there are three mouse buttons that you can use. One is to right click on the sales sync icon. Once you right click on it, it will ask you if you want to exit. If you say yes, it will close the program and stop the sync. If you middle click the icon, it will ask you if you want to open the setup screen. Let's say yes. The setup window will appear. Here you have a number of things to set up. The sync timer can be set to whatever you'd like. This is set to 600 seconds or 10 minutes. The minimum is 10 minutes and the maximum is 24 hours. The enable debugging is used for when you notice that the program isn't working. There can be an error condition that you're not sure about until you enable this. However, it's best to leave it disabled. Next field is the file name. This is up to you as to what you'd like to call it. Each company should have its own unique file name. For example, we'll call it easy solution file. The file name has to be exact. If you enter capital letters or lowercase letters, it has to be exactly the same as what you set up on your mobile. The next field is the FTP server. This here is our own FTP server. Then there is the username and the FTP password which we have entered. The next section is the report section. This can give us five different reports. So for the hourly, the clock timer is 24 hours. The start time is starting at 8 a.m. and the end is 6 p.m. Make sure that the start is always less than the end. The group hour is for future use, but for now we'll just make it one. The daily report we can choose to have the number of days, don't make it too large, seven is a good option. Weekly, we've set it as six. Monthly, we can see the last six months. And then yearly, we can see the last five years. Once you've done with the setup, you can press save. The information uploaded to the server will be according to these parameters. To force an upload, you need to double click the icon in the tray and it will bring up a question of whether you wanted to sync now. This will ignore the timer and immediately upload the information to the FTP server. One thing you'll want to do is make sure you have a shortcut of the sales sync in the startup folder of Windows so that when you restart Windows, the program will start by itself and upload the data at the set intervals. Once the application has been installed, onto your mobile. You can go ahead and open it. To start using it, you will need to press the plus button to add a new company. The next screen will consist of the company, server and file name details. As I said before, you will need to put the information in exactly the same as was entered in the sync setup. Once you put all of that in, you can save. Once you save, it will show that you have a company enabled. As you can see here with the Easy Solution software title. Once you save, it will show that you have a company enabled. As you can see here, with the Easy Solution software title. If you click on it, it will bring in the options to see the report. Every time you choose to click on this, it will fetch information from the FTP server that was uploaded by the sales sync. You'll then have a screen that shows you the company name and buttons for each report. You have up to nine companies per installation and each company can have its own file. Let's say we choose the hourly report. 
Here you can see the sales made per hour for the whole day and if the day hasn't finished it will show what has been done per hour so far. Next is the daily report option. At the top it shows the date and time the report was uploaded and this keeps changing based on the timer you have set. For example, if you set it to 10 minute intervals, the next one will be at 5.08 p.m. Next is the weekly report. Again, it shows the date and time, but is now sales per week. As you can see, it is showing six weeks. And of course, you have the monthly and yearly, which are very similar to this as well. If you want to see the refreshed data, you'll need to go back to the company screen and then click on the company name and again it will bring up the latest data. Note that all of this is running in the background so you won't need to do anything manually assuming your FTP is working correctly. I hope this video has been helpful and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.